Hello everyone, so this is my opening video and it's gonna be about the Forge Battle, an event in a game called Whiteout Survival, a game I've been playing for the last month. And if you fancy mobile war games, you should try this one, because this one is awesome. Uh, as you can see, the battle is about to start, and when I try to join, the game wouldn't let me. Uh, that's because you have to meet some requirements in order to join. Uh, first of them is you can't have any troops gathering or marching. Uh, you can't have anyone reinforcing your city. Uh, you can't have any troops in the infirmary and your wall can't be burning. Uh, so as you can see, when you start, the game will teach you some basics about the navigation and you'll be transported to a safe area. As you can see, everything is written in Portuguese because that's my mother language. And I only realized it until I started recording this video. I've already changed it to English, so all videos from now on in game language will be English. And since we are waiting for battle to start, this is the perfect time for you to subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, that would help me a lot and I really doubt you have the ability to do it with your pinky finger. In this video I'll guide you through the battle and explain you the basics of it and give you some hints and tips about uh, this battle and how to win it. First things first, it is highly recommended you have a lot of healing speed ups and advanced teleporters in your backpack. And as you can see, the game creates a special tab for you to communicate with your squad members. And to organize it better, we decided to divide the squad into two teams. Each team with its own leader and the second team leader was me. Now I know you're curious, so let's get to it and talk about this battle. It lasts about one hour, so make sure you have the time for it. The battle is divided into three phases, and in each phase, certain structures will be available for occupying. In phase one, it will be prototype and repair sites, a boiler, and transit station. Phase two will open up mercenary camp and munition site, and finally, in phase three, the Imperial Forge will be available and you gain points by occupying these structures. Oh, and there are some smaller structures called workshops that gives you points in a smaller scale for occupying them as well. And once the preparation timer reaches zero, you will be able to teleport anywhere in the map and the battle begins. As you can see here, I was able to get a head start and occupy prototype area 2 before the enemy. And that's the first tip of this video. Don't do that. That's because soon after the enemy arrived uh, in larger numbers, overwhelmed me, evicted me from the prototype area and forced me to use a lot of speed ups. So this is what I should have done. I should have waited for my allies, uh, rallied the structure and occupied definitely. But who can blame me? This was only my second forge battle and my first one as a team leader. And after thinking for a while, this is exactly what we did. Uh, we regrouped, rallied the structure and took it. I'll just let you watch to see how it plays out. While waiting for my rally to go, I realized that my ally had already taken repair site 2, so I decided to check on him and send some troops to help. Uh, in this battle, you have to be very aware of your surroundings. And here is tip number 2. Uh, the game gives you some free troop march speedups that recharge over time, so be sure to use them whenever you need. 
And so my ready departed and we were finally able to take the structure. Like I said, should have done that from the beginning. It would have saved me a lot of healing speed ups. And as you can see here, I'm going through them like crazy. But anyway, after taking the area, you just have to hold to it for a few minutes and you'll have full control over it. After you have full control, it will start giving you points. And like I said, this is a one hour battle and I'm sure you won't be there for one hour watching this video. So uh, from now on, I'll keep doing what I just did. I'll cut the video to show you the highlights uh, where I can give you some hints, some tips and show you the tricks to win this. As I mentioned earlier, you have to be always aware of your surroundings in this battle. And that's the battle map. That's how you do it. You can check which structures are being controlled by your team and which structures are being controlled by the enemy's team. And for our next step, always be on the lookout to see if any structures controlled by the enemy are unoccupied. So you can teleport to it and take it with ease. Okay, next thing you need to be aware of uh, are those resource tiles uh, on the ground. Uh, they appear every time a structure switches sides and they are collectible by any of the sides. So be sure to always collect it because uh, they can really turn the tides of this battle. And last but not least, always look out for your city. As you can see, I focused too much on the sites and forgot to mind my own city. So while all my troops were out, somebody attacked me and burned me. And in here, if you burn for too long and your wall durability hits zero, you will be teleported back to the safe area. That one in, you start in the beginning of the game. Uh, just wait a few seconds and we will see that happen. Well, if you have no TPs, you're just stuck there for the rest of the battle. And to my defense, I didn't know this would happen, okay? Since, the, like I told you, this was only my second forge battle. And if you reach this far, uh, here is a bonus tip for you. When an enemy launches an attack at one of your facilities, do just like I did here. Attack his city, because he will have no troops left to defend himself. This way he will burn and will be teleported back to the safe area. And that's one last enemy to worry about. So that's it. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. And keep following me for more videos on this game and, and other war games. Goodbye for now and until next time.